<clears throat> Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. I got messages for you. These messages may or may not resonate. Take what part of the message that best describes what you're going through, your situation, and leave the rest. Okay. Um, thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you guys for letting me know um, that these messages do resonate. Um, thank you for letting me know I'm not crazy. Okay, um, Pisces, right now at this time, I feel like you're being heavily protected right now by your angels, your ancestors. I feel like also you could be getting some type of synchroniz synchronizations. Um, your guys could be uh, hearing your prayers. If you were looking for a confirmation, I feel like this is your confirmation. If you've been wor worrying about something, okay, breaking free from something, leaving something, or just... Um, I don't know. I feel like your angels and your guys heard your prayers. They heard you. And I feel like, um, yeah, with this full energy, you will be able to leave <clears throat> a situation or you're embarking on some type of new journey here, Pisces. We got a message. Yeah. So in invited to spend time waiting for a call or a message. An important message needs to be heard. Sending a message, unexpected news, needing to know the results. You could be wanting to know the results and pertaining to, I feel like you're keeping the hope alive when it comes to a certain situation or a particular, some type of particular results here. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. So let's type in spirit guys. Okay. This could be to your sibling. Oh, wow. This could be about a sibling. This just popped out underneath. So you may want to know something in regards to your sibling. Something to hear about a brother, a sister. So you could be looking for some answers in regards to your brother or your sister here. I'm going to leave that there. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of my highest good. Allow me to channel for Pisces. Any and all negativity sent to me to my collective return to sender immediately, instant, um, 10,000 fold. <laughs> yeah, we got a cross and we got a conversation. So some of y'all could be burdened by a conversation that you're having, having with your sibling. You're like, man, I can't believe this shit. Um, burdens, pain, suffering, and challenges, indecision, crossroads, heaviness, religion, faith and belief, spiritual path, prayer, having faith, believing, divine protection, communication, talking, phone call, texting, incoming messages, unexpected messages, hearing from them, hearing their side, listening, understanding, comprehension. <clears throat> You could be getting a call from one of your siblings. They could be telling you their side of the story or they're telling you something here. This could be a secret or they're opening up about some type of secret here. Or this is someone that you look at as a sibling, somebody here that you can trust. Okay. I feel like you leaning on this person or this person is coming to lean on you. I'm here, lean on me. Something about a message. Okay. Maybe you need some type of message. Maybe you're burdened by something or you could be like going through some type of challenges right now when it comes to like religion and um, maybe spirituality. I'm going to just say something. Okay. When it came to like my spirituality, all right, like it's basically like you're being more conscious, God conscious. You know what I mean? Um. I just feel like do what works for you. Do what works for you as long as it's right. I, I would just say put yourself in God's shoes. What would God do? 414 o'clock. What would God do? What do you think God would do? No, we're not perfect. Yes, we make mistakes. Sometimes we fall back to, you know what I mean, patterns and what we did. But this is a learning lesson. We all in school. We all are. We, we all are, are. This is school. We are spirits having a human experience. This is part of the experience. 444. So if you're wondering like, yo guys and your angels heard you Pisces. Everybody fuck up. We all make mistakes. You know what I mean? 
But I feel like somebody hates Earth Angels or they've been trying to sabotage an Earth Angel here. Maybe they feeling bad, okay, from sabotaging this, trying to sabotage this person or 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 whatever. Somebody feels like nobody is perfect, okay, Pisces. I got some stories for your ass, okay. Um, I got a lot of stories. I'm an Aries Sun, Aries Venus, so you know I done. I like I like I said in one of my other videos, like I was a fucker. You know, there was times where it, it, it's basically like I wore my heart on my sleeve. I trusted the people, wrong people that I didn't, wasn't supposed to trust. But it was like, I was always like thinking like, damn, but let me see the good in this person. Because I know it. It's like I was always able to see in people. Like, man, I know this person isn't good for me. I know this person isn't good for me. But then... It's like I have to keep bumping my head. You know, you can't tell an airy shit. We do what the fuck we want to do. The magician, yeah. I wasn't seeing like the manipulation, the control, or you know what I mean? The spell work. I wasn't seeing it. I wasn't trying to see it because I'm like, man, but I love you though. So I don't care. I love you. You know what I mean? 616 on the clock. It was just like, man. And sometimes like just wearing your heart on your sleeve, like, You're accept, uh, acceptable, acceptable, what's the word that I'm looking for? To be hurt and be played with and to be like um, dead greasy, five of pentacles, ghosted, five, five. Y'all could be seeing five, five, five. You could be going through like some type of significant change right now at this time. Somebody wants to see you homeless. They want to see you in the five of pentacles. They want to see you broke. They don't give a fuck. Could be an empress in reverse that wants you like this. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here is that's very distorted. Yeah, we got the seven of cups. So you're confused like about this message. Somebody sent you a message. This is spell work. This is to, to mental confusion. Pisces. Oh man, my right eye is ringing so bad. Your ancestors and your guys are really trying to communicate with you or they're trying to send you a message. Your angels and your guys um, you are confused about the, you are confused about this, uh, message that you're getting from your angels and your guys. That's what I'm being led to tell you. Um, it's like they said something as clear as day. You do not need to, you, you do not need to confuse yourself. You could possibly be trying to find your purpose. Um, something here about like some type of news that you're getting and you're confused about this news or, I don't know, okay? Or these are one of your options calling you to spend some time out, but you, it's like you're confused about some type of results that you're receiving. <sighs> okay. That just really, really got me. What's the, what's the messages? Yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. So you could be finding out one of your siblings are like jealous or this person like don't really like care like that. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody here doesn't look out for you like your best interest. I feel like somebody could be sleeping with someone that they're calling their sibling or their, their sister or their brother. They're like, but I'm they sleeping with this person. So this is a lie. Okay, this is crazy as hell. We got the death card. Wow, changes, transformation, a metamorphosis. Okay, so something here is ending, Pisces. Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, we got the four of pentacles. So I feel like somebody here is like calling you and they're like, man, keep this to yourself. Don't say don't say anything. Okay. Um don't say anything about this, about what I'm about to tell you. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody's like, don't keep this shit to your the four of pentacles is somebody here that's securing like some type of conversation or they don't want this conversation heard. I bet not hear this shit repeated. So nobody keep this shit to yourself. That's what somebody's saying here. I'm just a messenger. Yeah, but then something gets exposed anyway. The tower. Somebody, something here was leaked. I'm getting a conversation was leaked. Mm -hmm. What's the seven of cups? Somebody told too many people we got the empress in reverse. Somebody's confused. Like, is this, is a, is this a distorted feminine? They are. They're distorted feminine, okay? 
somebody here has a lot of distorted feminines very codependent okay um I feel like this could be, say, like, if you are a man, Pisces, this could be, like, a lot of people that's, like, distorted, that's in your energy. They're clouding your judgment. I'm picking up something here with succubus type of energies here as well. Succubus spirits, they drain the life out of you. They're very needy, codependent. This is someone here that could be a doppelganger here. They're confused about who they are. They don't know who they are. What's the seven of cups? And or somebody's confused when it comes to their emotions. So they're not sure. Like when it comes to like, it's like you talking to like a wall. Like you're talking to a brick wall. Whoever this is, you're talking to a brick fucking wall, man. Somebody just doesn't understand you. The Empress in reverse, seven of cups. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with uh, this could be a mother figure. You could be dealing with two people. It's like one minute somebody comes off as, I don't know, this is crazy. Give me this queen of pentacles. Somebody here is, not, okay, now my left ear is like ringing. So what's the queen of pentacles? Seven, what's the queen of pentacles in it? So yeah, three of cups. What's the three of cups, queen of pentacles, three of swords? Pisces, what is this? Three of Cups to Three of Swords. Somebody's cheating um, at a party or at an event. Or they're they're laughing about somebody being a cheater. Or um, somebody here is like depressed. One minute they're depressed. The next minute they're happy. They're partying. They're drinking. And oh, and then the next minute they're a good mother. Or they're very like nurturing, practical. I see why you're confused about this bitch. Or whoever this is. Okay. Somebody here is like delusional. I'm picking up a very delusional type of energy. One minute somebody's like happy, and the next minute they're sad. The next minute this person don't know who they are at all. Somebody here could be cheating with like a, a friend group or something. We got the King of Cups, the Four of Wands, and they're married or they're in a commitment. What's the Three of Swords, Three of Cups? Dog, look at this shit here. These cards is flying. Yeah, the high priestess. Somebody knows about this, about this side chick, this secret lover, this secret friend that somebody thinks that they have on a hush hush. This could be a Capricorn, a Cancer, a Libra, or Taurus, a Scorpio, or this could be a Pisces. But somebody here, this is you, Pisces, you know, okay? But you know about somebody here in this Three of Swords energy, all right, lying trying to manipulate you when it comes to this friend or whoever this is that they've been sleeping with, with the nine of wands. And they're very much scared that you found out about it. You know about it. You're the high priestess. What's the three of swords? You know, somebody's a lying, cheating sack of balls. What's the three of swords? And then I'm talking about the saggy balls too. Not the balls that they be, they be sitting right up. The firm balls. They the saggy ones. The saggy ones, bitch. That's what they are. The saggy, like I said, the sun, the ace of wands. You know about someone. Somebody here was getting exposed as well from doing some type of spell work. Somebody could be doing dick spells, 13, 13, so somebody's penis won't get hard or they always go soft so that they won't cheat on them. Because this empress in reverse is very codependent. They're delusional. The sun, the magician, the ace of wands. Dick spells. Or somebody is having a baby boy. Or somebody has some type, this is some type of unwanted pregnancy that somebody knows about. Three of swords. The seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, a poor investment. Bad choice, a bad decision. Due to indecisiveness or being, living in fucking la la land. Or being in like... Yeah, just being delusional. Mm. But I feel like they call this person their, their brother, their sister, or like, I mean, they teamed up with this person, but this was a bad investment. So I feel like this could be someone here not putting any time, any effort in with their ex. Okay, they they realize this is something like this is something that is not worth investing. It's not worth putting any work in at all. What's the seven of cups? I mean, the knight of cups in reverse. So somebody here like they're moody, they're jealous, they're obsessive. They like to have one night stands. It could be a Leo. Yeah, so somebody here is like sleeping with a Leo and or who cares? Okay, six of wands, the ten of cups and the seven of swords. Somebody got caught in the act with a sibling. 
What's the King of Wands? Nine of Cups? I mean, what does this have to do with you? The Hierophant? Somebody's married. Or they're in a commitment. But they need some type of support from you. So it's like this person could be like opening up about some type of secrets. Okay, this Leo could be, could be a Taurus or... <sighs> this King of Wands is going towards this Queen of Pentacles. So this person could be opening up about going towards this Capricorn, this Taurus, this Virgo, this Cancer, this Libra. They could be opening up about this. They could be telling you some type of deep, dark secret, Pisces. It's a deep, dark secret. Don't nobody give a fuck. What's the King of Wands with this Hierophant? And we got the Six of Swords. So I feel like either you could be leaving the past in the past or you could be transitioning, moving on, being guided from your ancestors to move away from a situation. I feel like you could be moving away or you could be going to like, um, maybe you want forgiveness from someone. What's the death card? I'm not going to stay on that too long. The Ten of Cups. So a family dynamic is ending or there's some type of transformation happening to like a family dynamic here. Okay, what's the death in the Ten of Cups? The sun, the page of wands. I feel like good news or something that has to do with like happiness, vitality, joy. This could be like a pregnancy coming out or somebody's like, well, I'm pregnant and it's yours. Yeah, what's the ten of cups and the death card? Yeah, we got the devil. Godly. Either someone is like very like obsessed with having some type of ten of cups. Or somebody feels like chained to this family dynamic with the devil card. You know, when I look at the devil card, what people don't see, I just feel like it's an illusion. Somebody thinks that they're chained and they're not. This is just out of fear. Because when we look at the devil card, just examine it for a little bit. Even though they're chained, right? But they're chained to this because of fear. This damn, this... This chain is loose as hell around their neck. You can see like th through this part, it's not even strapped on right. They can easily slide this up over their damn, um, over their head. Somebody is like, they're being manipulated to think that they're stuck in their chain to something and they're not. They're not stuck. This is all mental. This is all control, mental magic. Yeah, what's the devil card? You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. What's the devil card? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, because somebody's a fucking liar, bro. Somebody's lying, saying, oh, you're stuck with me, or you're going to be with me. This person bitter as fuck. We got, um... Yeah, so I feel like this could be like some type of cult or religious cult or some type of organization that somebody's like, oh, you can never get out. You're stuck with me for the rest. That's the fuck you can. Fuck these people, whoever these people are. The hierophant and the devil is right next to each other. Ain't nobody finna sit up here and tell, tell me that I'm stuck in anything. Fuck you and fuck this organization. I'm out. What you gonna do about it? Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? This lying ass hoe. Yeah, the page of wands. So this could be like somebody being a messenger or they're communicating something. This could be somebody telling you or texting you something here in a day. Or they said that they see you somewhere. What's the page of wands, queen of swords in reverse? That, the eight of wands. Yeah, so somebody's like telling you about some type of documents, paperwork. I feel like it's fake. Somebody's lying on these documents. They're lying about these text messages. These text messages are made up. They're lying about them. They lying about them. Yeah, we got the hangman. So that way they can hang you in the justice or in the legal department or to get you hung up in some type of legal issues. It's a lie. It's a lie. The queen of swords, when the queen of swords comes out in reverse, it's a lying ass bitch. Somebody just wants to have a hold over you or I don't know. Somebody wants to have a hold of So they're going to make up these documents. They're going to make up all types of shit, Pisces. It's bullshit. What's the eight of wands? I feel like there's a lot of people making up shit. What's the Eight of Wands? The star. Aquarius energy. 
tampering. Somebody's making up shit on a healer, a star seed. Somebody's lying on this chosen individual. It's like they're lying about this person. The temper, this is somebody that's high vibrational. They're a healer. They're an earth angel. They're a star seed. They're chosen. This person is inspirational. And they're making up some type of doctor. So you can see somebody here in a, in a, in a different light. Somebody here is obsessed with lying on this person. They're obsessed with it. This queen of swords is. They're obsessed with manipulating the energies or manipulating some type of documents. They're obsessed with this shit. And this is like the same person that call you like, don't, don't say nothing. When I tell you something, you keep it to yourself. Don't say nothing. What I heard about this person. This is gossip. This is bullshit. What's the four of pentacles? Keep it secret. Yeah, the lovers about a connection, about a twin flame, about somebody. What's the lovers? Four of Pentacles. Somebody here ain't got shit. Yeah, we got the Emperor. This is about who you're in love with or who this Aries is in love with, this Emperor, this this Aries, this Gemini, or a Taurus. This could be someone trying to manipulate your choices when it comes to love. Somebody here does this shit over and over again. The Eight of Pentacles, a repetitive cycle over and over and over again. What's this emperor and the lovers? I feel like somebody here can be in love with someone as well. They have a deep soul bond with this individual. This is a deep connection. What's the lovers and the emperor? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, but they're blocked. Somebody is blocked from this lover's connection. Until they heal with the star card. Yeah, the star and the high priestess, man. Another high vibing ass individual. This show, yo, <laughs> what's the seven of wands, ten of pentacles? Somebody is blocked out of some type of inheritance, wealth, longevity. They're blocked until they heal. Somebody really, really has to heal. And I'm getting someone here like like to like to like talk, or this is like an somebody takes it upon themselves to call an individual, like, let me tell you what happened. This is some more information that I found out about this person. And it's a fucking lie. Who is this lying ass bitch? Queen of Swords in reverse. Who this lying ass called? Could be a Gemini. This could be somebody here that you... Okay. Yeah, this could be an Aquarius. This could be a third party that's lying. A lie. A lie. She a lie. Yeah, so somebody's a liar. We got the lovers and the star card. Somebody's lying on a healer or they're lying about some type of twin flame or soul contract or something. There's a third person here that's like looking at, I don't know, man, but they're obsessed with doing this shit. Give me this. Mm -mm. I ain't fucking with it. Ten of wands. Yep. This person is like trying to cause you stress, burden you, make you stressed out, put all the responsibility on you. That's what this is, Pisces. Yep. Justice in reverse. So that way, either either this emperor energy does not heal. What's this emperor? Okay. Emperor is clarified with the fucking emperor. Period. Period. I feel like this emperor is going to hold back until they make a decision. They're going to choose. They're going to make a decision. Okay. We got the strength. Somebody here knows that an individual is trying to bribe them, keep them quiet, or keep them shut, keep their mouth shut. We got the six of wands. So it's like they're going to be focused on victory here when it comes to like stability, their work. Yeah. So what's this two of wands? This emperor. Okay, so the emperor is clarified with the emperor. Somebody's going to make a choice and they're going to do the right thing. Maybe they're going to be quiet about this or they should be. Or somebody's going to muster up the courage to make the right choice. They're going to make the right fucking choice. What's the two of wands? The four of wands. And they're going to choose the, the four of wands. Somebody here is going to go towards this four of wands energy. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. Whoever this emperor is, they're going to go towards this four of wands energy. And they're going to ghost somebody. Ghost is Leo. Or Aquarius or Gemini. I don't know. Somebody here is ghosting somebody, man. What's the four of wands, two of wands? Somebody's going towards their 11-11, the temperance and the empress. I can't make this shit up. Somebody is going towards their 11-11. They're going towards their person, their healing, Pisces. 
Somebody's like, man, I know my motherfucking baby is per my baby perfect for me, bitch. The temperance and the hype uh, and the um and the empress. Somebody is a high vibration. They're high vibrational. They're very angelic. They're eth uh, ethereal. Okay. Somebody's making a choice to go towards this person. It ain't shit nobody can do about it. We got the nine of cups. That was kind of like confirmation. The nine of cups came out of it's in reverse in here. Okay. Something here could be happening in divine time, and I feel like nobody's going to know the day, the hour, nor the time when this twin flame dynamic is going to link up or come back together. They're just going to be waiting. So let's see the signs that's involved here, Pisces. For whoever this is, congratulations. Okay. Getting in union with your person. We got a Gemini rising. We got King of Pentacles. Generous, loving, loyal, good businessmen, caring, stable, and practical here. We got a Libra moon. Could be involved. That's pleasuring themselves. Yeah, or doing glamour magic. Okay. What's the messages here? The signs that um, we got Cancer Sun. We got Sagittarius Moon. We got Virgo Rising. Trying to steal your spiritual inheritance. They got caught by your ancestors. That's what I was seeing. Something here about your ancestors. Somebody trying to steal your spiritual inheritance and they got caught. Ancestors caught these motherfuckers, okay? Let's see. Any other signs? We got Aquarius Sun. <clears throat> we got an Aries Sun. We got a Gemini Sun. We got a Cancer Moon. We got a Libra Rising. We got a Taurus Sun. Coming back to play on your emotions. They're going to use mental magic. We have a Virgo Sun, a Scorpio Sun. The hate and the gossip, the spell work, the manipulation could be coming from any of these signs, okay? And we have Sagittarius Rising and Gemini Moon. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Hopefully you was able to find some messages in here. And I'm going to go cuss these kids out because they're just not going to play with me. Bye.